So we've been winning die rolls, but we haven't been getting good hands. We've been resetting the client as well. Yeah, we're doing okay. Fine. Actually, totally fine. This is this is good. This and this, and this is strong. We're good. Eventually this. This is not a card you ever want in your opener, but it's nice to know you're going to have it. Sure. I think it's fine to run out of the top of guys here. Definitely. Totes. My goats, as they might, as you might, say. as you might say, as many have said. Nice, ghoul it up here. Yeah, I think ghoul makes no sense. Please don't hit lands. <laughs> Great. Those we didn't want to draw those at all. Yeah, so help, help ghoul. There's also an enchantment and a creature in the bin name. Yeah, creature's not that hard, but enchantment's nice. Awkward that we milled our only piece of big stuff removal. That's a really good card. Uh oh. Oh, that's priest. fine, so we have the priest. And we can start attacking for one here. He also can be pinging for one. Better in red, blue, than red, green. For sure. That's just a fine card, though. Oh, 03 blocker saves a lot of damage, and you just ping your opponent for one every turn. Yeah. And so, you will play the odd spell. Yeah, it's actually it's, just a it's good... It's not as kind of... Scary. ...insane in, yeah. in, in, in a deck like red, green as it would be in red, blue. I had a deck online once where... Um, oh, actually, it was a sealed deck. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I think it's foul bloods here. I think so, too. Because it trades. How many packs? It's four packs of Eldritch Moon, two packs of Shadows, right? Yep. Yeah, I had a, a sealed deck that had um, five take inventories. Four and a foil. Wow, okay. So I was like, and I had like this stuff, and like, I, got, I was like, I'm just playing all these. Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm just going to do that. Did it work? Yeah, I was like, take inventory, draw four. Yeah, it works. <laughs> no attack. Okay, so he's. We've slowed him down since uh, the, the campaign's going to be okay in this game. Yeah, both tap. Leave up tap, play this. Yeah. I might attack with this. Although it doesn't really benefit to it, it doesn't upgrade our delirium or anything. Well, it does. I'd rather trade for the wolves. We can just tap it down. It's not a bad attack. It's not a bad attack. And then he's going to be playing something bigger than. Why didn't I attack with Tom Guys? Well, that was silly. That was a silly mistake, yeah. If he's on one when we lose, then I'll punch you in the nuts. Yeah, I forgot about that. Happy to trade. Yep, yeah, cool. Happy to trade for a trick as well. Yep. Yeah. Which it looks like is what, is what is happening. Yeah, I mean, he passes four up and five cards on two of each color. I assume he's got something in his hand. That's fine. Then we just tap the thing on our turn on his turn. Yeah. Mm, no real need to kick it like that. But it's fine. The first strike, yeah, the first strike would have done it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now we can tap it. Begin combat. Mm -hmm. What do we need? We need a land and either an instant or sorcery in the bin. If we get a land, we just play Capitan of Vengeance, then this is two life return. And gaining us life. And we can just send this in. It's not bad. Two damage or upgrades to a 3 2. This card's pretty. Uh, need to do this. this card's pretty good, man. Which? Like this. We're, like, we're, not, even, we're not even really ahead here. Nope. I mean, you do need to have attacks. Yeah, it's good in the, It's good when you've got spirit tokens. That's, yeah. that's kind of what we've learned. Mad that's, Prophet. That's, that's a good, good card. Good card. Land. Fine. Even better, actually, kind yeah. of. Um, I'm going to attack with the... Yeah. As well play as he's tapped out. Um, we've no other attacks, have we? Mm, no. no. They all get eaten by this. Except for this, I guess. Which is not relevant now, but will be when we can... Swing with the campaign. Yeah. We got the Thermo Alchemized. That's all right. See, I think next turn... I think we take the hit here from the Wolves. I think next turn we just play Captain. Probably just swing with everything. <laughs> Drain six. It's no joke. Uh, we need to draw a land for that to work. Yeah, of course. He's not attacking anyway. Interesting. So probably. We can still priest then. Wait. Swing with. If we sack a land with that, I know it's not ideal because we want to hit the campaign. But if we sack a land with that, we hit Delirium. Do we? Yeah. Then we turn stuff off. Then we can we can tap two things then really because this taps something as well. The other thing we can do is, is attack with the desperate sentry and instant speed get delirium. Power four two. Yeah. Have it trade it's for whatever it blocks. Whatever blocks it. I like that. I know it's unfortunate because of the um No, I understand. The campaign we want the lands. Like this? Yeah, I think that's correct. We'll top the map? No, I don't want to top it anymore. Swift spinner. Oh no. Box the topple guys. Yeah, that's really bad for us. Mm -hmm. No, I couldn't see that. We can tap it. Do it right now. 
Yeah, actually, that works out fine. This is totally fine. Jump my ship and crash into the waves. I listened to Rag and Bone Man recently. That's mm. my music recommendation of the week for you. Suck a swamp. Swamp, because we have a double white card in our hand. But by then, I mean, <laughs> four yeah, of Look, it's, 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 it's tiny percentages. Sure. Nice. That's a really good draw, because we get to play a land and then play that. Mm hmm. We also have three zombies in play. Which means we can just activate it straight away. And draw a card, yeah. We have three untapped zombies in play. Man, this turn went well for us. Which hits us our land for our... Which might hit us our land for our thing. We didn't play a land. Uh, on his turn, we are going to be tapping the spinner with the topple guys. Yep. And we're, now we're oppressive. Yes, <laughs> this is now... <laughs> look at this. This is just firing on all cylinders, and it's, it's a little scary. We have, two, we have three draws here to hit a land for that. Mm -hmm. We can use the good breaker on our turn. It's not ideal, but those things aren't attacking. They might with the campaign. Yeah, that's a big drain. Drain for seven. Take him to seven. Close to just kill him. Yeah. And then the, the following turn will be... I mean, in. you have to remember there's damage as well. Yeah, and then the following turn we just get to attack with everything again. Draw cards and respond to removal here. Nope, that's bad news for you, buddy. That is nil good. Convicted killer. Come at me. I hardly even know him. Yeah, I got Draw cards on end step. Boom. Boom. Did one. Boom. Did two. Boom. Did three. Boom. So good. Good breaker. <laughs> Look at that. It's not bad. We win. So the three best blocks for him are 3-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and a one power thing. So no, we don't win. If we but... everything. If we swing, say we, say we don't swing with this. Say we play campaign, we swing with this, 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 and this. Okay. That's pretty good. I'd almost rather leave up I enough zombies to draw a card. So we swing, that means we just swing the flowers. And the, that's not good enough, it? No, that's not well, good enough. Well, that's good. He takes, he takes four in the air because of this. We gain three, and he has to do something about this. And we draw another card next. That's fine. We're getting pretty close to this. I think it's worth it. I think it's good. So we're definitely slamming the campaign. Yeah, I think that's happening anyway. We could draw another card for something better, but I like this better. And then, okay, let's say... So let's, let's just go to attacks. We're definitely going to attacks. Mm -hmm. Let's say Toppelgeist, Spirit, Eldrazi, Horror, Hundo, Percento. Yeah. Question then is something like this. I think Sigurd and Priest is a no-no. Yeah, it's really this and this. And the question is, do we want to deal more damage or draw more cards? Problem, the problem with attacking is he can trade for the Haunted Dead, which means we no longer have Quick Breaker activations. I can just get it back. I think I prefer this line. I think just I these attacks. I think I do as well. This means we're not dying anytime soon to life loss. And we're, we're hitting them for five at the minimum. Yeah. Yeah. This card's good, dude. I've never had it not be good. Like, I'm aware that there are conditions where it isn't good. It just it seems so expensive. You know, you need to already... Have, the, the, the times when it's not good is when you top deck it with an empty board. Oh, well, like, we got a combat trick coming in here. Madness combat trick. I kind of don't care. Yeah, me neither. Could be digging for a combat trick. Also, most combat, tri combat tricks are single green hostile trade. So. Uh, confront the unknown. Yeah? Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, tap the Swiss player. Completely, completely forgot players. we had this online, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just got him locked here. Yeah, it's so hard for him to win. We're going to draw another card on end step. Mm -hmm. Gain the life back from drawing cards after a breaker with the campaign. Attacking is elite. He's also stuck on four lands. Uh, attacking is club pretty is essentially lethal next turn. It's turn eight and he's got four lands in play. If we attack that he goes to three. He takes two in the air. I find it hard pressed to lose at that point. Yeah. Especially with, with two tappers. And a big seven drop bomb coming down. And we're drawing two cards turn. <laughs> I just realized I'm, I'm nodding. I agree with Dennis. I'm oh nodding. sorry, yeah. <laughs> the deck worked, I liked it. Yeah. Ooh, that's really good. One damage is creature target player close. Oh, that wrecks everything. Pop, pop, pop. I'm going to draw a card in response. Yeah, do that. For sure. So now... Okay, that was less... It's less good now. Yeah. We're, we're, we're in a worse position, for sure. We just land this, though. We lose everything except for these two. That's not a great position to be in. But So we're swinging with the Haunted Dead. Yeah, for sure. Probably with the 1-3 as well? Yep. 
I think with the one three as well. Just for the drain. Yeah, absolutely. And unfortunately, playing the Thraben Gargoyle, it's super awkward because you're not going to get to flip it next turn. What I'm going to do? Uh, no, this isn't going to die, is it? I'm going to say if this dies, we, we can... could. If he trades, which he won't. No. Yeah, that makes the most sense. But yeah, we could have brought back the. Well, the dead. With, instead of playing the Thraben Gargoyle. Ugh! Yeah. Wait. It eats our guy now. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I think we're fine, though. Especially with this. Yeah. And we're going to have eight lands the following turn. You know, a good percentage of the time. Mm. Which means two spirits. Two win. spirits, which gains us four, four life, life, and then they attack, which gets us, and he's just dead, like... Like we're on we're on fourteen. He's got a big hill to climb. He's here. super close to dead anyway. I think next turn we're one off lethal. Well, he's got the spider. He's got the spider. So we do just land the cavalry. I think probably come in with a haunted dead. Ah, oh, no, it just gets eaten by the spider. Is this tighter than I would have liked? <laughs> Is this really out? No. Yeah, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah, doesn't do anything. It does damage. Ah, uh, we took this in front of it. We just land this next turn, dude. No attacks, okay. Yeah, land this and the next turn make two spirits and win the game. Yeah? Almost certainly. He could remove that this turn. Needs to be now. Needs it to be, does like, need to be now. And then we just make a dragon. 4 2, gets a trace for this. Uh, yeah, I keep thinking that's a 4 4. That's my mistake. Alchemist greeting is what he needs, something like that. Could easily have it, he's been digging a lot. Yep. Needs to be this turn though, otherwise we, then we, then we get the flyers, and the flyers are pretty much lethal. Flyers aren't necessarily lethal. Yeah, they attack for. He's got the Swift Spinner. Yeah, but he still takes three from two of them. Emerge! Awesome. Top deck. End of the hardest one? Oh. That's what he's casting. <laughs> Spoiler alert. How can you tell? Because he sacked it. It could be the other green one. Could be killing the Thraven Gargoyle. Killing the campaign, I think. Almost certainly, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Mockery of nature. Yep. So. We're getting somewhere, though. Mm hmm. The Mad Prophet's been really good for him. Hmm. Yeah, we saw that coming. Throw the Haunted in front. Yep. Gives us something to do if we draw land. And that's the only reason. More playing this land to make two spirits. Well, then maybe blocking is a bad idea. Nah, that's fine. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I guess you're going to gain some life yeah, by attacking. Yeah, it drains, but... Uh... We gained four life from playing the thing anyway. Yeah, okay. Assuming... I think if we, I think if our Drug Call dies here, I don't think we're winning this game. That's reasonable. Um, plus if our Drogskull dies this way at least we can get back a spirit token on that there's ways point. we win the game if the Drogskull dies it involves um, deadweight or something on the spinner deadweight on the spinner and flipping the gargoyle and attacking twice so we're probably dead by then no so oh. he's losing the wolves instead of the alchemist that makes a bit more sense Mark it called it kill our campaign fine but now we get to spirits up the wazoo and you can't block our 4-4 four, four flyer can with the, the spinner but it's a jump, jump. Yeah. like Yep, yep, yep. And then we're going to be jumping your mockery every turn. Yeah, and we get. Oh, Ooh. shit! Game? Probably. Yep. We can cast that. We can do both. No, we can't. We need to discard two cards. This needs to play land to have managed to do both. Ah. <laughs> I think we lose, man. What do we do? The dead entrance tapped, the spirit token doesn't, obviously. I got nothing. I think we're dead. Our only big removal's gone. Our tappers are both gone. We're taking just a ton of damage this turn. We can't do. We can't be the. I don't think we can be the six five anything. I think I'm calling it. Praise on was was the kind of the nail in the coffin. If we'd added the cavalry, how would we have done? Got a good chance. Go on, does nothing. Land does nothing. Land. Does nothing. Yeah, we're, we were doing nothing for a very long time. Yeah, I mean he had it. He got pretty lucky with his draws. Well, well the, 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 it, what happened was he had an unanswered mad prophet for the entire game. Yeah. Um, I'm good though. 
Don't feel like signing out or any of our enchantments or anything. Yeah, he's going to use it on, one of the, on this, if not this or these. So. Plus, getting these in the bin is good. I think we're okay. Okay. We got unlucky that game. I don't think we got unlucky, but a good hand. We just got beat. We played a fair game of Magic and we lost. Like. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he got lucky with his draws, honestly. I know we yeah. had the looting, but... It was the, it was the rummaging return. That I mean, was... We were drawing two cards down for a while as well. We drew two extra cards off the yeah. breaker. It's not common. I mean, he got very lucky with the Savage Alliance as well. I mean, like, I don't know where you're saying lucky. He, was, he, he had we, cards we couldn't, that... We couldn't answer the Mad Prophet. That was what lost I don't think... I don't think... I mean, I really think the Savage Alliance lost that game. But he found the Savage Alliance because he had... had a yeah, but he happens, he happens to have a card that is, like, incredibly well matched up against our boards. To, I think that's lucky. Okay. Sure. Yep. Good hand. Very good hand. Like this hand. Would you not class that as lucky? No. I mean, everything in a game of Magic is lucky by that definition. Games of Magic are entirely about how your cards line up against their cards. Yeah, but sometimes your cards line up spectacularly well against their cards, and that was what happened. So. But, I mean, Savage Alliance is just a good card. He put a good card in his deck. Yeah. Not like he put a bad card, and he happened to run across the deck where it's mm. good in, mm. the, in the matchup. Like, he's just playing good cards. Hold me inside SSC. I would like him to play the 3 2 Vigilance. I want to deadweight that in the merciless result. Okay, we're going to deadweight the hell out of that. What are we going to merciless result? Instant sorcery. Ha <laughs> Doesn't work. That's swap. Because then we have three things for delirium. Sure, okay. Still need a creature? Yeah, yeah that's super easy. That again. shouldn't be that difficult to get, no. Swing. No there's point doing it now. Because we played a land. We, I mean, the, the reason to not do it now is that if he goes to kill the foul bloods, we get it for free and we get delirium off of that. Like, if he points a removal spell at the, at the foul bloods. We don't get delirium because we don't have land. Oh, sure, but it's the same thing and we get Yeah, no, that makes sense. If, if he goes, like, Savage Alliance, you think? Yeah. Just uses a shock. Nope. Let's test. Super thing be your tea. Cool. Doesn't quite work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't kill either of these things. Yeah, so I think we play Haunted Dead. Do we do an attack? No. This is about to get much bigger. That's fair. Alright, so play the dead. And then just block I them. mean, the dead can trade for the Brazen Wolves with the spirit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think he. Bizarrely, I think he kills the spirit in that instance. Because he can't. Because he finds it harder to deal with the flyer. I mean, he doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't give delirium. No. Like, kills both. It's a 4 3 on attack. Oh, it's a 4 3 on attack, sure. I forgot, yeah. Ow. We can also ditch a. Thro uh, Epitaph Golem or 3 Golem to our collective brutality. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it once more. We're gonna ditch. We can ditch our 3 Epitaph Golem or Epitaph Golem to collective brutality. That to was barely better. <laughs> you need to hear better, because I'm talking fine. Alright, we're double blocking here then. Yeah. There's no way this goes badly for us. We kind of want these to die, so. And this dying is minimum impact, and if he wants to use a spell to make this eat them, that's good. Nope, great. That worked out very well for us. Mm -hmm. And then we have our 4 3 menace. It's no joke. It's a good card. Clear out a blocker with this. Did you land for a drain here, maybe? We could also just play Epitaph Golem. Yeah. 3 5 is, is pretty, uh, pretty strong. What do you got? Ooh, just ashes. That's yeah. fine. I'm just gonna play 3 5 now. Yeah. Cool. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Bum -bum. Man, we lost game one. We did. It was a close one, though. Yeah, I, felt like we, I really felt like we were, we were winning that game. We were winning for a sizable portion. Of that yeah, game. I don't. I don't think there's anything we could have done differently, though. Agreed. Well, I don't know about that. One, two. Uh, no point in playing that land, really. Uh, it flips the flavor, third and gargoyle, but it flips the next turn, I suppose. Yeah. So I guess we want to go Gargoyle, Wailing Ghoul. Yep. Swing in. We're swinging first. I don't think we can do an instant speed, but I guess he doesn't know that. Um, this post-combat collective brutality stuff, I'm not sure. I guess, Like, yeah. he blocks and tricks, and we finish something off with a brutality. Yeah, that's not bad. I have a question for you. Hit me. How do you feel about trading in this land and this Wailing Ghoul for a Haunted Dead? I feel pretty good about that. Uh, I want the land for the, the gargoyle. 4 2 flyers huge right now. Okay. Now, it may trade for a swift spinner, but it may not. Yeah, well, it's telegraphed if it does. 
if he passes with four mana up, like. Yeah. This also threatens a trade on the Brazen Wolves. For one, yeah, we it would be a one for one. You can only kill one of them. Yeah, with the, any trick that only kills both of them that keeps it. Probably not worth it. I mean, okay. we we attack back with similar amounts of damage. We have the drain in hand with the collective brutality at some stage if we like. passes before mana up here what do you think we do attack with the golem and then maybe cash in if we draw another land we cash in the two lands with haunted dead we'll have to draw another land at some stage for the golem for the gargoyle mm -hmm. didn't do it so we're coming so in we're actually golem. just killing that killing that as well yes away. and draining I guess or we could thought season that's not bad either I think that's worth it he's, he's a deck that's running a lot of spells well we can't do this then why did you play that land because I thought we wanted to do this. But we don't want to do that. We want to Brutality it. We knew we were going to Brutality it. Yeah, I forgot. Well, we weren't going to do all three anyway. We wanted, you wanted the six nine for this. So... We can do two modes. Yeah, I think it's probably Thoughtseize. Yeah. It's probably more impactful than the Drain in the long run. What is this? <laughs> A very good interface, honestly. Yeah. Um, you and this. And this. Probably should just ditch the card. Well, the Drain doesn't really matter, I don't think. We get to see if he has a swift spinner as well. <laughs> That's not nothing. It's not nothing. Yeah, go ahead. He has to do it in response. Uh, I'll help you get an instant. This is an insane card. Uh, buy a clear shot. Uh, These I are mean, all good. <laughs> clear shot's the best one. Rabbit Bite's also really good. And the AMI is really good. AMI's going to kill our gargoyle. I think Rabbit Bite's going to kill our gargoyle. Flips to Everything the in here is going to kill our gargoyle. But the clear shot's the best one. Clear shot's the best card. God. <laughs> so he's got rabbit bite aim high. Yeah. So we make an attack here. Yeah. Yep. That's the attack. He can combo those as well. With the. Oh no, not really rabbit bites a sorcery. Oh, you mean to take down the golem? The golem. Yeah, maybe. I don't believe that's worth it. We could chump. He's got aim high. Oh, chump. With the watching gargoyle. Or the wailing ghoul, sorry. Okay. Right letters, wrong words. Yeah. <laughs> watching gargoyle? If we round the numbers, we think we reckon if we lose this match, we're out of top eight. Out of top eight, yeah. I think 9 1 is, is required for top eight. That's so unfortunate. He gets aim high to death as well. Do we make him eat the aim high here? He gets rabbit bited to death. After an attack, yeah. Well, we leave this back then. So okay, we have to. I think I think what we're doing here is we're flipping the gargoyle. We're attacking. We need to get that rabbit that aim, aim high out of his hand. Yeah. But then the rabbit bite just kills the cavalry. No, it doesn't. He has to attack with it to give it four power. Oh. Okay. So we just eat it with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then if the aim high is gone, we can't make the attack. Yeah. I mean, you got an aim high. There's no way you don't. This like, is such an easy aim high. We're tapped out and everything. Like. He can't know what we're planning here. But like it's you know if we just draw two lands off the top, well, I think we win the game off that again, provided it doesn't die. To the rabbit bite. Yes. And and that just requires him to not draw a four power creature. Yes. Yeah. Didn't do it. Interesting. Frightening. I think <laughs> he has an attack now here. What's the attack? With the brazen walls, he still has the aim high. Shit. If you use it, we go two, and then we're just de we're dead. We have to block. Yeah. Which means we lose our guy. And then we lose our guy to the rabbit bite. We don't, because he has to use the thing to save it. Oh, well, now we're just in bad shape anyway, all together. That was a weird use of incendiary. No, he rabbit bites it now. Oh, and then we just are actually just dead. To aim high, yeah. To everything. Um... Okay. Well, we're out of topic. Is that in, a stop? In, in sort of unpleasant fashion yeah his cards are just kind of better than ours that's fine that, that I don't mind we, we lost several games to not in this round not in this it's... round but the last round I think we could have won yeah we got a little unlucky with, with like yeah. a fair game of magic but um brutal exactly so is this because that's that's the amount of videos we'd ordinarily do for a draft yeah so I think it's probably what we call the recording 
Well, I'm probably going to leave soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to play out these for posterity's sake because if I win literally unimpeded from now on, yeah. I, can win, I can lose one more match to get into prizes. Yeah. So I might play these out, but you probably guys don't want to watch that. And if I wasn't in the tournament, I probably wouldn't play them. But I'm in now. So thank you all for watching. We didn't quite do very well in this month. No, that was, that was, it was poor. The deck was fine. Yeah, we got a little lucky in matches one and two. I mean, we won match one. But we got a little lucky in match two. And our opponent's deck just kind of matched up really well against ours. And they drew all the right cards in the right order. And we kind of didn't. Yeah. I, but we drew, we, drew, we drew fine. In, in game one, we drew very well, actually. We drew actually. fine in that last round. It was just, it was just his, his deck was a little bit better than ours. And I think, I think, I don't think we played strictly incorrectly in any way, but we played in such a way that his cards lined up quite well against us. Yeah, well, we couldn't have known he had Savage Alliance or anything like that. Or that he was going to emerge Mockery Nature and prey upon. Like, But yeah, we had a good time. And we'll time. see you all next week. Bye-bye.